High speed rail has been an Australian dream for decades and today on a train to Geelong, the latest promise to make it a reality. In order to deliver high speed rail between Geelong and Melbourne and to deliver it properly, we need to get the best of technical advice and to do that we need to invest a significant amount of money. $50 million has been set aside in next week's state budget to plan a high speed link but talk of speeds of up to 300 kilometres an hour and travel times of just 20 minutes met with a degree of scepticism. If they can actually make it 20 minutes, like I'll believe it when I see it, <laughs> you know. Backers point to the success of overseas projects such as Britain's High Speed One which slashed journey times between Kent and London. Melbourne can't continue to grow, the people need to go somewhere and Geelong is a perfect place to accommodate that growth. At the very least they should be looking at separating Geelong trains from the Wyndham Vale and Tarnit trains, the same on the Melton Ballarat line. Currently most trains are timetabled to make the journey between Geelong and Melbourne in around 58 minutes but they're regularly subject to delays and cancellations. I think people in Geelong would be far more impressed if the $50 million was spent upgrading the existing service to get it running on time now. The government wants the high-speed line incorporated into the planned airport rail link. Both are likely to cost billions of dollars. If they can make it happen, I'm all with them. That could win them an election. He may not be the first to follow that train of thought. Andrew Lund, Nine News.